welcome back to Politics Watch. This is RP. Now, today I'm going to play an audio. It's really a video, but I'm going to play the audio from the lady, young lady, Jada Chiefs. In case you've forgotten, she was the woman who dropped out Jamaica, private jet, managed to carry the weapons them in the country, and then one time she leaves leave with her group, police them, or the immigration people them, well and on her, she ended up in a jail. It was a big story, but you know news travel fast, and you know people probably forget about it already. But it's a brief, you know, history. You can go check out the old video if you don't know about the case. So, look at time pass, and she's now telling the story on Instagram Live. And in the process of telling the story, she says some things where like, to her it come like a nothing she has said. But for many Jamaicans, people are like Wolande, Miss Jada Chiefs, will and come again. Will you just say? We even hear about one of the favorite lawyer them, who takes some big money from her, tell her a story, and you know what? I'm going to just go straight into it. Listen up and listen up closely. Honestly, I was at first I was like, they're not about to take me to jail. Like, uh, they're gonna take the guns and we're gonna go our way. No, we already start off on a bad foot this up. I don't know which full grown adult thinks they're in a foreign country with foreign guns and people are going to just take the guns and send you upon them way. We already know that them people take Jamaica for a complete joke. She would never say that about Switzerland, Germany, France, Norway, none of them countries. She would never say that. Y'all, when they put me in the back of that police car, I was honestly shaking in my boots. So now she realizes she's actually in a sovereign state. Now she actually realizes a serious business is this. She ended up now one at the back of the rat to them. Listen up. Then, mind you, it was me and Greg. So they were saying they have to take me to, it was like two different jails. I had to go to the country, whatever that, the hell that is. And Greg gets to stay in the, the city or this, where, in Jamaica, where the women's jail, far out. Men's jail is in Jamaica. Shaking in my boots. Y'all yeah, was so scared. Oh, I was so scared because I'm like, oh, it's over with for me. I don't know. No. And then this is my problem. I'm out of the country, so I can't just pick up the phone and call. I'm done. I was like, oh, I'm done. You would be done if you didn't want country some serious laws. You would be done if you didn't assert another man place. Right? If it if Vladimir put in the kitchen and place with American guns, you would be done. Fortunately for you, you were in Jamaica. Harry man. And call. I'm done. I was like, oh, I'm done. I was offering them people everything. I'm like, y'all can have my watch. Y'all can have my chain. Because I only had on my watch. No, I had on some bracelets and some rings. I didn't even have on a watch. I'm like, y'all can have this. Y'all can have all of this. I'm like, this bracelet is worth $10,000. Just take it. Please let me go. Please let me go. So she's basically telling us that she tried to bribe the police them. Now, having jewelry worth ten thousand dollar or worth ten thousand US is different from having ten thousand US cash. So somebody said to me, say, boy, really good said the police the squad never even take the How much people think they're gonna take on ten thousand dollar bracelet from jail chiefs and go down on a local pawn shop downtown for King Street and say, yo, give me ten thousand US for this. And that's the bribe work. And who knows, maybe she just, well, well unlucky for she, well, lucky for Jamaica, she woke up and some police actually serious about them job, who knows. This is not going to be good. So then they let us go home because the only reason we didn't go have to go behind bars is because COVID. So with COVID, they not, they like, basically, it's like the system is behind. So we had to go to court. We had to stay an extra night, go to court at, on that Wednesday. Um, I was so scared. The people in court... Court was smooth, but when we had to go pick up our passports, because they wouldn't give us our passports back, no, thinking that we were... After we left court, we go to pick up our passports, and the lady said, when we, as soon as we walk in, she said, the system has failed us again. Basically, like, they wanted us to stay. They wanted us to stay in jail. They was mad that they let us go. They was mad that they let us out. I was like, okay, yeah, it's time for me to go. I will open you that, you know. I will open you that. The police them, the authorities them, said the system failed us again. 
even them know that the laws them a joke. Because there's nothing worse than when time you build a case, do arrest, and then the people walk away like nothing happened. Police can tell about this. When you build a case, investigate, investigate, and then they just see man just walk out. You build big operations, sting operation, and a cooperation, and man just walk away. The system has failed us again. Tell them about the laws them. Enough people only think say police Lego and the police Lego are the justice system Lego and the, the laws them Lego. Your favorite judge them Lego. Because the laws that are in place allow them to be hmm, lenient. Allow them to tap on the wrist and them things. Eh. That is why you hear people say the system has failed us again. So you know what I mean? It happened already. It happened enough time. When she said they wanted us to stay, Jada Chiefs, Jamaican people now nothing against it, but you can't tell me say, you know see the big problem with going to people's country with your gun. Cut the crap. I can assure you, if me take private jet, if me take a space shuttle, man, if me take Apollo 13, man, if me fly in, man, they sitting where, remember the Jetsons? L.Y. Jetson, the little sitting there, Mr. Fly Run Pan, if me fly in Pan that, go Uncle Sam place. And Uncle Sam check my suitcase and find the Super Soaker 1000. Me and you know what say. It won't be a case when I go there on a live at our boat. I try to give them a watch and I try to give them a chain. And then when I time, was the case, me and one American authority say, Uncle Sam fail us again. That won't happen. You know that won't happen. Now, despite all of this, we need to make sure that so when they get too caught up in the whole Jada Chiefs thing. Because you know? Jada Chiefs is not right laws of Jamaica. Jada Chiefs is not even a Jamaican. She's not an elected official. It's not fair for the laws of my puppy show and then take advantage of it. If you found yourself stuck in a foreign country, or when you go to a court house and I expect for you to say you have to face 5-10 years, you will say you only have to pay one little chunk change and drunk go back to your yard. That's exactly what you would do. Right, you're not going to say, no, that is unacceptable. Carry me go to jail and give me 20 years right now. I deserve it. You're not going to do that. Let's be, let's be honest with ourselves here. Right. The laws are weak. The loophole was there and she took it. Um, but it was an experience, you know. And my slow, honestly, I did not know that um, you fly in private because they let us bring everything in mind you they searched our bags and everything nobody said nothing to us there so i'm thinking we was good you know they let us go in and everything they even checked our bags when we got there and no problem so when we was leaving out, i'm like they, okay they got something for us they so got us no let me tell you something people that divine intervention as peter bunting would say for me me accept that a full-grown adult Things say uh, it is normal to carry a weapon from America when on another country. Right? That take divine intervention for make me accept say uh, right? people, somebody, an adult who think to themselves, yeah, that's normal, let's carry me going to our next country. Just so. But Jade achieves of a point. If she learn, let's say she is simple Simone and carry the thematic them. If she learn and bug search and we get access to the island. Then she's going to be even more confident say, well, I, I don't know. Because she get past immigration the first time. If something is wrong, how come nobody not stop it? Let's say she and her friend might debate it. She know when the argument. She go say, see it, we just come through custom. Then search the bag them. They must have device for scan and nobody not say nothing. But tell them to say, right, at Disneyland with it. But tell them to say, right, Jamaica, I don't know a serious place. But tell them no. So the quote-unquote system initially failed by making her get into the country with the gun them in the first place. The fact that Jada Chiefs would enter Jamaica with her team on a couple matic show me a high-level hitman could enter Jamaica, right, take out anybody, people of the highest order, take out a 116, because only a 116 would have need them can I hit them. And they could exit the country and that case will never ever solve. If she and her team can do this, imagine what the British, the French, the Germans, the Israelis, imagine the Russians, imagine what them people like can do to Jamaica. Imagine who them people can take out of Jamaica. They don't even have to be current serving members. It can be some ex right, military right, turn in a mercenary. Get the hit. 
Tota Jamaica, private jet. Get the guns him. In the island, kill them and kill. Left the guns him because there's no need to carry it back. And people just be wondering how I go on. What just happen? Jamaican borders them. Full of all like some old nighty. It's a complete joke. A big YouTuber do this. An American hot girl, businesswoman. I'm sure she has many titles, but you get my point. We're not talking about somebody with some MI5 or somebody from the Israeli Mossad or something. Complete joke. But um, yeah, I'll go back. I'll definitely go back. I just know not to go back with my my Glocks. And yeah, mind you, um, no, this is no shade, but my lawyer, he had me wire him fifty thousand dollars. The court fee, Jamaican money, only came out to five thousand dollars. All right, no things start to get real spooky. Make a year we're going to the lawyer, so him, she wire him fifty thousand dollar. And the court, listen up. He kept all that money. They didn't reimburse me. Not, oh, he did send back $4,000. But I just had to take that L. But I'm glad that I'm out. I'm back in the States. Baby, the long-time mobile scammer would be proud of that liar. You hear what she said? The man sent her back 4000 How generous. How generous. She wear the man 50,000. End up cost her 5,000 in her court and him give her back 5,000. So 9,000 total. 41,000. The lawyer don't eat. But listen, I know the lawyer alone. Listen up closely. You might miss it. But um, I had to just take a big old elbow. But I had to, I wired the money as soon as they told me the fee. I wired him the money. This is before we even went to court. But he was saying he already had everything already lined up with the judge and stuff. Have everything lined up with the judge before we go to court? Have everything the lawyer tell her say everything sort out with the judge and then they reach court house yet? I hope we have a cup of tea now on her hand. I don't think she realized what she just said. I don't think she realized the earthquake she just caused hit Jamaica. Well, assuming Jamaica was a serious country, this is like one day story actually. But if Jamaica was a serious country, all kind of tribunal, all kind of inquiry would have to open up right there so all lawyer go tell you this until they say him and the judge don't work out that people of Jamaica you know what big up Jada Chiefs cause even though she don't realize it she just confirm what we already know say so even the legal system the quote unquote justice system is highly highly tainted what kind of Law, you are not judge for your work or nothing, and girl, you even chop a court house yet. If you hear the charges and hear this and hear that, and lawyer take 50,000, so she only get back four. So I wonder how much the judge get. What kind of lawyer and judge are work out things before? See, I tell you, say, when you see people with certain titles attached to their name, stop frightening over titles. Because they tell you, say, who you think you are? You know, you're the judge to this. Why would he do that when he know this and he know that? Are you trying to say that judges can be corrupt? Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Are you trying to say that judges are taking things under the table? Yes, Jada Chiefs just telling her that. It's our lawyer tell her that. I don't know no justice system when a lawyer and a judge work out nothing was to send me some money and me and the judge don't talk already man so everything good which justice system that and while we're at it a which lawyer this a which judge this because if she did ever call name you see people love jump out and say for example when they talk about some of the sentencing them are going on with people jump out and say who do you think you are leave this to the judges leave that to the lawyers leave it no jamaican people have a vested interest in what are going on in the country including the justice system and if things don't look right we can't say things don't look right just telling people say the judge say and the lawyer say that mean nothing to me yeah go like say you know, like judges are infallible lawyers are infallible think about this we already know the type of people them, but we'll see. Ton lawyers in Jamaica. I'm not one about feel like I pick pan lawyers. But some of the man they meet ton lawyers in Jamaica. I'm not even surprised when you hear things like this. 
After all, Jamaica is a place where a notorious drug mule renter dread can rebrand as a lawyer and a quote unquote human rights activist. And when you feel political parties them actually hire right, said individual as human rights commit I mean not even Netflix can come up with this. Under the, the argument of well you know, uh, everybody is a second chance. You know, rehabilitation, you know, redemption. But when you go look at work, a simple work, we don't have nothing big and major, them say they can do all kind of criminal background check and tell us, well, you know, we're going to need something from the JP and we need, we need a character reference because just get rid of the entire system. Get rid of the entire notary and get rid of the whole background checks. And because we say, when I want to friend them, when I want to link them, when I say, well, a redemption and second chance. So next time when you go for your job or you try to do any kind of business and them tell you say they want a background check and they want to hear about your past, tell them say you know what, my past don't matter. There is no need for character references, there is no need for to dig up on and on. Right? Because you know, that was then and this is now. Because that's the, that's the argument that them use for them friend them. That's the argument they use to the people them in them spread to unity. Anyway, make me hear the rest. So I'm like, okay, he know what he's talking about. The lady read out the number or the amount we had to pay in court. And I'm like, oh, so he gonna give us the money back. Never got the money back. Give the money back. Jada, chop it, get chop. He does stand a better chance against a regular scammer than a lawyer scammer. I'm telling you, some of the biggest rackets they were in Jamaica, lawyers they involved in it. Only thing people get past the system I think your favorite LIQ scammer from down the road know the system in, inside out and can navigate it, them have lawyer help, them have legal help. It's just because when I time to get lock up, you don't see the lawyer upon TV in a handcuff. Matter of fact, even a badness, no 87s, them lawyer link tell them say no say police catch you with this or them catch you with it this way, them can't really do this. Ask Clansman. Ask one other man name. Ask Bird Nation man then. Ask Moby man then. Let me tell you. Them lawyer link them tell them say there are certain loopholes in the system and if this happen, if police ever wanna pay you, just do this. Them can't do this to you, them can't go yourself, them can't look yourself. And bad man know that. And they use the advice of their lawyers to sidestep the police. Because sometimes not even the police them don't know the law like that. Sometimes the 87, right? Because them lawyer friend tip him off, know the law better than the police. Police all on point 87 are things that they can. Yeah, man, now we finally have him. When he meets a court, big lawyer come in and say, Did you know that my client was here? When he need to make sure he say he was here, right? No case submission, drop. That's why when time say trial, I go on and they might tell C4 say, right? Stick to this, stick to that, stick to this, stick to that. I brought them race, all four of them. I mean, we can lock up the 33 people in from clans. Or we can figure out how the entire criminal network work and try to sync it. Because the process of acquiring the guns them, how the guns them getting at the island them. Even though I don't imagine that even C4 will know all the details, he certainly know more than the rest of we. So give that tell man say, the show is yours, just go and talk. But the commissary that green assault, and I'm no legal expert. I'm just trying to get some views. So this Jada Chiefs thing. I understand she's a celebrity, but we have to look on the bigger picture. Jada Chiefs, I can't accept the fact that you never realize that something was wrong with entering right, another sovereign state with a gun name for America. But, I know you refer to Jamaican law shaky. As I hear the officer say, the system failed me again. I'm also grateful for Jada Chiefs because, in the process of talking about the whole ordeal for her, she ended up making no say. Many of our favorite lawyers, many of our favorite judges, a food they might eat. Big food too. Anyway, hey Chan Squad, you go for yourself. PIA, you don't know, no life. Ultra Squad, stay circling. Bless.